Ethan Carter's brand new album and delighted to say that the man himself joins me live in the studio. Nathan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, David. Great to be uh, back at Highland. Lovely to have you with us. Congratulations on your brand new album just released today. Yeah. A great, great album. Mm. There's how many tracks on there? There's 12 great 12. tracks on there. You have yeah. some great songs as well. You've got uh, Till We Meet Again, a, a lovely duet with Claudia Buckley called This Love Will Never Last. And also you've got the likes of Riding My Thumb to Mexico, uh, The Morning After that we've just heard, and then some more modern country, the likes of Humble and Kind as well. Yeah, there's a good old mix now. Um, I suppose the, the last few singles are on there. I did a version of Keg of Brandy, um, that track which you've just played the morning after which myself and John wrote um, and a few country classics I've always loved Conway Twitty I think if you're going to do a classic country song he's probably one of the ones yeah. you're going to go to um, and uh, a couple of originals as well uh, thrown in and a couple of duets and I did a, a track that you guys played not an awful lot for is the uh, Heave Away track with Kjol. Yeah. so that's on there as well so it's a good mixture of folk country and a bit of I don't know, modern country as well, thrown in as well. Brilliant. Well, congratulations on a new album. I know a lot Cheers. of effort and a Cheers. lot of work goes into these uh, things. And I suppose you're probably recording all the time. Once one album's out, you've probably already started the next kind of thing. Uh, no, I, <laughs> yeah, I literally haven't had time to do anything the last um, three or four months. I ended up doing the recording the vocals on tour, uh, which is a first for me because normally I'd be in a recording studio. But yeah. we ended up having to make a makeshift studio on the back of the bus uh, when we were in America. So I was there, and the the guy, the driver, would turn the engine on every ten minutes. Then we'd have to go down. Would you turn it off? For, <laughs> give us five minutes. We've got one more vocal to do, because uh, you'd hear it through the mic, you know. But it was it, listen. It turned out really well, and um, thankfully, after the last couple of years, I'm delighted to say we had to do it because we've been that busy. You know, yeah. it's, it's a really good complaint. So great complaint. We're we're, uh, we're delighted the way things are going. And you're in the middle of your Christmas tour. You're in the Millennium yep. Forum tonight. Sold out. Yep. Uh, all your gigs this weekend are sold out. The Christmas tour is going really, really well. Yeah, this has been our most successful in a long time and I didn't know what way it was really going to go after the pandemic, really coming back into the, the gigs because, you know, people were a little bit afraid of coming out still. But it seems in the last couple of months, people are enjoying the gigs more than ever. And I know myself and the band were delighted to see, you know, people back out mm. enjoying live music. And I think we as musicians kind of appreciate everything a bit more because we couldn't do it for so long. It means an awful lot more to us now to go on stage and perform and see people happy. Yeah, and lots of people are texting in here to say that they're looking forward to tonight. Uh, namely, Kerry Marie, can't wait to the show tonight. And also, please say a big hello to Nathan from two big supporters of yours, Kenny G and Olive. They've supported oh, you from the start, yeah, haven't yeah, they? They really have been great support. So I uh, might see them tonight if they're going, yeah. yeah. And don't worry if you didn't manage to get tickets for tonight because you've got a very, very special show coming up in January. Yeah, we don't get to play in Donegal half enough as I would like. We don't and, allow you in. I know. I'm only allowed <laughs> in once or twice a year, generally for Clon Manny or a couple of festivals. But no, I'm coming back to do a concert, my first concert in Donegal in ages. And we're going to yeah. be in Let's Kenny in the Clan Ree on the 20th of January. Um, your good self is going to be there on the night as well, I plus Kjol. Um, so it's a it's a full lineup of music. It's going to be a a big show. Um, something that I'm really looking forward to and to to coming back to Donegal to to put on. Um, you know the Clanry is a lovely venue. And yeah. And um, as I say, we just don't get to play here enough. So that is Friday the 20th of January, Nathan mm -hmm. and his band. I'm going to be there as a special guest as our Kjol. And those lads are flying it at the minute. They, we had them on the the show here a few weeks ago. Yeah. And they're sounding great. Yeah, they've been practicing so hard. And I think because they've been gigging so much over the summer, they, their yeah. their songs and their performances have become really, really tight. And they're just they're four great singers, great musicians, and um, well, I suppose one of them's from Donegal, so he's, yep. he's he's naturally a great musician, you know. But um, but yeah, no, the the lads are doing great. They're actually performing tonight with us up in Derry. They, we're Brilliant. gonna have them on to do a, a few songs and. Uh, that's if they get there. They're actually on RT radio as we speak. Uh, so they're going to be bombing it up the road, I think, to try and get here in time. But Not yeah, a bother. They're doing really well. We had a great old time out in your Carter and the Costa trip in October. Yeah, uh, yeah. The crack was good out there. And it's it's probably one of those things that you always look forward to every year, you know, meeting up with people on a more sociable level, uh, people that come to the gigs all year round. But this, you get to spend a full week with them. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that I definitely look forward to. Um, you know, a week in the sun, no matter where we go, um, is is always something enjoyable. But we were surrounded by lovely people that had travelled all over Ireland, Scotland, England. We had a couple travelled from America, would you believe, to Brilliant. come on the, the week away. So, um, yeah, it was it was a great trip. And um, between yourself and Claudia Buckley and 
Dominic Coe and Johnny Brady, Cleona, the, the list just went on and yeah. on. Conal Gal and the the the, 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 um, the entertainment was fantastic. The crack was great, and one thing about it was it was all very responsible. We all just did our gig and went to bed. That was it. Oh, End of yeah, story. Of course, yeah. There yeah. was no morning after the night before. Anyway, the <laughs> whole week. Yeah. Come here. What's going on, you and Philomena Begley? What is going on here now? The this, the rumor mill is going on that there's some sort of a relationship going on. What's happening? Uh, well, if if anyone hasn't seen the new. Um, music video to the the song the morning after that um you can go and check it out on youtube or facebook there but uh i basically needed someone to be a cameo role in it and be a taxi yeah. driver that uh we ended up uh, going out for drinks and ended up in bed together the the, the day after and the rang philly and she said she jumped at it straight away she said i'd love <laughs> to be involved so um yeah i never dreamt i'd be waking up the next morning besides <laughs> philomena begley but i am in this video when the two of us are in bed together and it was really good fun to film. Uh, the cameraman would be counting down three, two, one action, and then she'd be pulling the quilt off or yeah. pinching me bum or doing something. You know, so. Class. She's uh, she was eighty this year and still Ama acting amazing like a teenage, woman. Amazing teenager, woman. You know, so. Listen, I know that you're uh, heading for sound check in the Millennium Forum, so we're going to let you go. Enjoy Christmas. Have a great one. Congratulations on the new album called The Morning After. It's out now and you can get it where? You can get it on my website, NathanGodMusic.com. It's available in Tesco's and all the music shops uh, locally. Um, and of course, if you want to stream it or download it, you can do that as well. But listen, thanks for having me on the show. Big hello to all the staff here at Highland and especially a big happy Christmas and a peaceful one to everybody who's listening today. And we are looking forward to that show in the Clannery on 